Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. My name is Cécile Pertuiseau. I'm a marine data manager at IFREMER, and I will present the French research vessels management, which is an opportunity for harmonized data. I won't go in detail of each step of this workflow, but I will focus on why and how did IFREMER implement it. So to begin with, um, here is briefly the composition of the French oceanographic fleet, which was born in 2018 as a very large research infrastructure and which is directed by the Oceanographic Fleet Management, the DFO. Since 2020, it includes um, six deep sea on mature vessels, five coastal ships, seven research station ships, five deep water vehicles, and some mobile equipment. This fleet covers all fields of oceanography and does involve many stakeholders, from the chief scientists to the fleet coordinators, and the national fleet commissions, and the ship operator, the information systems, and the entire um, scientific community regarding the data dissemination. So all that being said, uh, you understand it's a very important point to speak the same language, um, because the challenge is to ensure the transmission of all information related by each stakeholders um, at each step of the entire cruise line. To do so, um, IFREMER developed in 2018 a cruise management system, um, which is called the SGC. This is a workflow managed by the software, um, which allows the overall management of an oceanographic cruise. So after the calls for tenders, um, the scientific team um, responds uh, to them. The national committees um, evaluate each response um, after all, um, the DFO mainly um, is in charge of um, scheduling and processing the selected cruises um, before, of course, preparing the cruises with um, the scientist and the ship operator. Um, then happens um, the cruise. And after the cruise, um, the scientist um, is um, responsible of producing some reports and then a few months later, they still have some valorization um, work for the post evaluation. Um, but one key point um, is the use of common vocabularies. Um, we do use the sea data net lists because we are deeply involved in this program, in this European program. Um, here is a screenshot of our SGC uh, workflow. You can see on the left hand side the different stages of this workflow. But here is um, a focus on the cruise summary report um, that is being um, validated through the SGC workflow and which is then shared at uh, a European level. So um, now that we have seen that um, all the information are stored in, in, in the SGC um, database, um, the next challenge is um, to provide the information to the entire scientific community um, close to the acquired data. Um, so CISMA has been in charge for a long time of archiving and banking data acquired on board IFREMER research vessels. Now um, CISMA has extended its practices to, other, to the other vessels of the fleet. And thanks to an efficient partnership with its ship operator, all acquired data are now transmitted to CISMA within two months after each cruise. So today, CISMA database contains more than 9,000 cruises and successfully feeds um, the single access portal, the cruise catalog. Here is the example of the MOMASA 2020 um, cruise. You can see that the cruise summary report um, is described. Um, you can also see the digital object identifier. Then the page you will see the links um, to the quiet data, the information about the dives or the samplings or the moorings in the DCCC case, um, also to the videos. And you will have the information about the related publication or any kind of reports um, of, of the cruise. So um, this is a real hub um, of access to all the information related to each cruise. So we have seen that um, this oceanographic um, French fleet um, has been an opportunity to unify the management of the French cruises and their associated data. Also, um, a key point um, has been um, to use common vocabularies um, to apply the FAIR principles to the French data. 
So I will be happy um, to go more in details um, of this experience. So don't hesitate um, to contact me um, for any question, Marina. Thanks for listening.